Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to add another mesh router to Caddy AX1800 network. Let's begin! So, as you can see currently, I have my second uh, mesh router right here. The first one, the main one, is already configured. If you don't know how to configure your Caddy router, uh, I just recorded a video about that. Uh, so you can just search it up. I'm, it's probably the name like something how to configure Caddy network, Caddy AX1800 network and you shouldn't have any trouble finding that video and after you follow along then you will be able to simply add another mesh router uh, to your new Caddy network. Anyway, uh, I will simply uh, clean this place down and we won't be doing anything with the main uh, mesh so I'm going to and get it out of the camera and let's just focus on this bad boy however still I have to clean this thing a little bit more and I will get myself this uh, laptop right here uh, because on the laptop I am already on the site that lets you configure uh, I'm on the like main Kodi network uh, you can easily get it uh, you have to make sure though that you are connected to the Caddy network, uh, so this site won't work if you are not connected. You can connect. You can basically use this site from any device. I'm just using a laptop because it's uh, more convenient for me. Uh, keep in mind that you have to be connected to your Caddy network. So as you can see, my network is named Caddy Router 5G. And if you want to get into this network, all you have to do is input uh, this little um, site right here. So now we have uh, our whole a little um, configuration hub let's say and in order to add new mesh all we have to do is just press this plus icon so I'm going to press it and as you can see uh, we have a little tutorial on how to add another mesh router we have to press uh, we have to place the add-on uh, mesh router uh, which is for us this one and uh, next to the computer you use to configure it which is this laptop right here we have to power on it and wait until the LED becomes solid red uh, so I'm going to connect uh, my, my little uh, router to the internet uh, to, I'm sorry, not to the internet, to the power so after you're done uh, the power socket can be located right at the back it's here at the bottom so let's simply input it and now as you can see we wait for the LED, for the LED. oh, it is solid red and now we have to press the pair uh, button on the add-on router and click next. The pair button can be located right under, or uh, right above the power button, the power cable. So I will simply, as you can see, it's just press it or press and hold. No, it's press. So I'm going to press it once. Uh, I'm going to go and hit next. So as you can see now, it's scanning uh, a web uh, for this new mesh router. And keep in mind that I still have the original main right here. So uh, I'm going to place it down. And I will quickly check the quick installation guide, which also comes uh, with every mesh router, because there's also a tutorial on... Uh, there's also a little tutorial on how to find uh, the new how to add a new mesh unit which is really handy mm, okay so that's pretty interesting because on the note I'm going to really uh, do that right now I don't really care as you can see it says that we have to power on the add-on mesh unit and uh, wait for it so it's become a red solid and within two minutes you have to press the pair button on both the router so you can't really pair press it on uh, alone the add-on router, but also on the original. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm going to, as you can see, this is my add-on. So I already pressed it. And now I will press this power, this button right here. So now both of these should go into the scanning mode. You can also click, click not found your router. Now oh, hold the reset button for five seconds before release one power done, then wait for the restart. Uh, 
Uh, well, we could restart both of these routers because... Uh, oh, it's actually... Wait, hold on. Both of these are already on. Are they? No, okay, this one is now uh, in the pairing mode, so I will press it once again. So let me just try to do that once again. And I will test it. As you can see, it actually stopped flashing, which is pretty interesting, but it still says it's scanning. Okay, I will now leave this because, as you can see, it worked. Uh, the site is pretty stupid. However, as you can see, it did work indeed. Uh, so I'm guessing you really have to, you want to basically screw this site. You don't really, actually, you don't really have to use this site. All you need to do is just press the pair button on both the add-on and the original at the same time, or within two minutes, not the same time. And then as you can see, we now have two mesh units instead of one. So as you can see, it did work. And now we can basically unplug it and leave it somewhere else. So we can just uh, well, use this how it's supposed to be used. So on one side of the home, you want to have your main uh, unit. On the other is your add-on. And now you have a little mesh right now. But yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.